I'm verified. I have ownership of the DSP persona. Wow. Thanks for the money, dummies. <laughs> Band, 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 band. The camera's been on the whole time. Bounce, bounce. I'm actually a virgin. <gasps> See this fucking piece of garbage dick? <laughs> Thanks for the money, stupid fuck. What's going on everyone? Phil here with a special vlog. It's official as of today. I am considered verified on Twitter. You've got to be fucking joking me. I'm not over exaggerating here. Five years of effort that I've put into this. Imagine wasting your life like that. Can you? Can you? This childlike mentality of, of just stupidity. That's the real DSP. I have some issues. Yeah, it's not a surprise. <laughs> here it is. Five fucking years. I sent emails to Twitter. I contacted Twitter staff. I had Machinima try to go to Twitter at one point. I was stonewalled at every turn. Sorry, at this time you do not meet the criteria. I didn't give up. I kept plugging at it. I really hope eventually someone at Twitter is going to see, wow, there's a guy who has an internet-based business. He really needs this. It's in the interest of public safety. And they finally did. I've been concretely hurt by impersonators on Twitter. I don't know why Twitter took five fucking years. And as of today, my account is verified. It has the check marks. So what does this mean for you, the viewer? I just want to make this public knowledge. I'm going to say it on record right now. I'm not going to do any more gameplay streaming or anything positive in my life. I'm going to go on a crusade on Twitter now and find the shit posters and get them all banned. I'm going to get this fucker because he got me. Now I'll have some clout with Twitter to be able to report them and say, listen, please, look what they're doing to everything that I'm trying to do positive here on your website. You got to fucking discipline these people. I can now easily submit those accounts to Twitter and have them shut down. Well, what kind of malicious things could they possibly do on Twitter? I'll give you a few examples, alright? I'll give you just a few examples. There have been people over the years that literally tried to do really fucking malicious things to myself, to friends and uh, viewers of mine, because as you know, over the years that I've tried to use Twitter, the app they call me DSP handle has been impersonated tons. It's happened a hundred times. I'm exaggerating. That's happened maybe four times in the five fucking years that I've been on Twitter and actively using it. And the problem I've always had is when I had these impersonation accounts, I would try to submit to Twitter and say, please shut it down, it's hurting my business. And they would say, oh, well, you don't really own the account or anything because you're not verified, we don't care. As you know, I'm probably one of the most trolled people on the internet. People outright insulting me, saying the nastiest, most bullyish shit. But the good news is now that I'm verified, I am now seen in a generally positive light by a lot of people on social media, including Twitter as a company. So what I'm hoping is that if we get any major problems on Twitter, that because I'm now verified, Twitter staff will pay attention. Fuck no. But I'll just give you an example, a couple examples of how it could seriously hurt me, all right? Today, something went wrong with Patreon, or didn't process a payment correctly, and I was a little angry at Patreon. Fuck you, you guys are worthless, you guys are turds and shit like that. Now, obviously, Patreon is gonna see that and be like, What the hell is even that? They came to me personally and were like, Why are you insulting us on Twitter? This isn't good, what are you thinking? And I was like, Oh, fuck you, someone impersonating me. I've always been trying to be a fully negative person at every moment. <laughs> And another perfect example here, if you remember a few years back, I was trying to go to a lot of gaming conventions, and I remember there was a convention that I was interested in attending, and I had mentioned it several times. Oh, maybe you can see me at this convention. I wanted to get hype up with my viewers, and some asshole with an app, they call me DSP Handle. Those tweets are from me. It's not from some asshole imposter. Went to the conventions, Twitter. Why aren't you personally inviting me to your convention and offering me free tables? All that being said, I've done Yusuf since 2008, but certainly in the past few years you know if you want to impersonate me on purpose to make me look bad twitter is the place to go there have been times when people impersonate me on twitter and then they go off and they tweet things that i have business relationships with right there's a violation of your terms of service there's a violation of your terms of service there's a viol they don't review them they don't care and they just ignore you a lot of people have always been afraid to go to twitter <laughs> 
<laughs> you know, when I started on YouTube in 2008, Twitter was kind of this thing, but no one really talked about it. Now, finally, I understand how important social media is to the success of an online-based business. As you guys and gals know, especially if you're longtime viewers of mine, I use Twitter a lot, but me, I use it for completely the wrong reasons, absolutely. My Twitter interactions have gotten way more frequent, getting my finger on the pulse of what's going on in the gaming world. You know what I mean? Whether it's interactions with fans. You know, someone will tweet me something, Phil, you know, today I lost my grandfather. And well, fuck you and your grandfather. You know, I don't care. I can't help people. I just can't. If I didn't have Twitter, Twitter went away overnight. It would be very hard to shitpost and attack my viewers because outside of that, all I could do is make a video. I don't have time to fucking positively interact with people on my Twitter. I just don't. I'm not like that. I'd much rather to waste my time on Twitter bullshitting because I'm verified trying to throw any clout at anyone. The elitist chummy chubby club and we all nudge elbows because we're all verified on Twitter and you're not. Maybe it's just the way my, my mind is wired. Here's the deal. For years, I've wanted to be verified on Twitter. It means that you get this check mark next to your name. Since I'm verified, fuck all the people who pledged money to me to see me play this game. Becoming verified on Twitter is one of the hardest fucking things you can do in the online internet industry. There's no one person you go to to get it. I'm better than anyone else because I got a fucking check mark next to my name on a social media website. The only way to get verified on Twitter is number one, if you're a movie star. <laughs> a musician, Hello. a gigantic YouTuber with millions of freaking subs. <laughs> oh my God. I used to get like 10,000 views and I barely get 3,000 because most people don't want to watch a real asshole. Or if someone pays, that's not me. That's 100% a lie. Right now on Twitter, I'll have a tweet. I'll say a tweet or something. I'll have someone respond and say, Phil, damn, man. I can't believe the responses you got. I'm really sorry about that. And I'll be like, what are you talking about? I didn't see it. I don't even see most of the negativity that's thrown towards me on Twitter because they're all blocked. I blocked all those fucking people. And the bottom line is I want that shit off of my Twitter. I want my Twitter to be for derision and to make fun of someone and to be negative. <laughs> shit post. <laughs> so, in summary... App they call me DSP is my Twitter account. I'm hoping that now maybe we can just fucking get on with our lives, right? And we can all positively use something like Twitter for, for positive social media interaction. Because I sure fucking can't. By the way, I'll end it this way. There are people on the internet losing their shit that I got verified on Twitter. I can't believe they would verify they call me DSP. This guy has like 5,000 subs and he's verified. That must mean any Joe Splamoni idiot off the street can get fucking verified now. Twitter's really losing it. I don't deserve it. Even though I operate a business, I'm known worldwide. It certainly may not be for good reasons, but people know my presence on the internet worldwide. Yeah, I don't deserve to be verified. Well, then who does? If anything, this is a story of how never giving up and being dedicated and trying at something for five fucking years finally paid off. What are you doing with your life? That's it, everyone. Hope you enjoyed the video and found it informative. I'll see you on Twitter. Peace out. See you later. Fuck this game. I'm never playing it again. I'm rage quitting. <laughs>